Not a great top end speed, good speed, but it's his, equip his quickness and elusiveness that makes him so dangerous. Little squib kick, trying to keep it away from Arenas. Fielded by Baron Huber, who will take it up over the 45 to the 46 yard line. The junior out of South Lake, Texas, South Lake Carroll High School. First play in the pocket, hit as he throws, balls in the air. It's incomplete. They actually, no whistle blew. Well, no whistle. They said that that is a loose football. They've done some pretty good things on that side of the ball. The ruling on the field is confirmed. Was a fumble recovered by North Texas. First down. Will Atterbury, the true freshman out of Louisville, Texas. Nine punts on the year, 42 and a half yard average. Standing back is Javier Arenas. Leading the conference in punt return average. We'll let this one go. What a punt. Well, that had some spin, some backspin on it. Pressure will play in the head of a quarterback faster than any defensive look you could possibly give him. Here's Ingram. Out to the 20, to the 25 as his helmet comes off. Alabama starting lineup above our scoreboard on your screen. Here's Ingram, the team's leading pass catcher with his eighth grab of the season. Gets it close to the 40-yard line. Marquise Mays, Mike McCoy to the top. Will play action to Ingram. To the far side, wide open is Mike McCoy. He picks up about eight before he is brought down the far side. With that uh, that fumble from Greg McElroy, but they look pretty good right now. Trent Richardson in the game, his first handoff. The true freshman will pick up the first down. Richardson stays in the game, gets the handoff. Out to the 42-yard line. For Alabama on the move. This drive started at their four. Here's McCoy to the 33-yard line. First down, Alabama. Royce Hill on coverage for Demean Green. In motion goes Brad Smelly, the H-back. Here's Ingram. He's tracked down for a loss of three. Here's McElroy on second down. It's Earl Alexander, the junior out of Phoenix City, Alabama, with his third reception. Leading the conference in uh, receptions. Here's McElroy. Pass caught by Mike McCoy. Makes a man miss to the 10, to the 5 and run out of bounds at the four-yard line by DeWayle and Cook. It'll be first and goal, Crimson Tide. McElroy flush, scrambling to the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Will Atterbury. Will punt away again. Bob with the snap, nearly blocked, but gets away a booming kick that sends Arenas back to the 22, and he dropped it. Bounces off one man. Still on his feet. Can anybody catch him? Finally, they bring him down at the 33-yard line. Alabama's offense back on the field. Mays in motion. They will fake it to Mays and give it to Ingram. Good idea as he takes it into North Texas territory and another big pickup for the Tide. 13 plays, 95 yards, 5 minutes, 52 seconds. Here's McElroy, now 8 out of 9 this afternoon. Marquise Mays with the reception. <laughs> 4.35 to go in the opening quarter. Here's Ingram. Gets a wall of crimson jerseys. Bounces off one man, still on his feet. Dropped at the 30-yard line. Tough. Holding. Number 73 on the offense. That penalty is 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Replay second down. Richardson to the 42-yard line. Let's go to our studios. Rob, what do you have? Toledo by a couple of touchdowns. Here's McElroy. It's Colin Peake, the tight end. First down, Crimson Tide to the 35-yard line. It was a well-played football game. The play fake now. McElroy going to the end zone. Mays, touchdown! Oh. 
Pass is caught. Great catch at the 34-yard line by Darius Carey. Javier Arenas back to return the punt of Will Atterbury. Six career punt returns for a touchdown for Arenas. That is tied for the SEC record. A high kick that will drop at the 22 and roll out of bounds. Trent Richardson gets the handoff. Trent with a big hole. Trent to the 40. Stumbles to the 45 of North Texas. Richardson will stay in the game on first and 10. McElroy will throw. Pass caught. Darius Hanks to the 25 yard line. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Number 47 on the defense. That penalty is administered half the distance to the goal from the end of the run. First down. Just outside the 10. Toss sweep to Richardson. Stays on his feet to the five. Down to the three, maybe the two yard line. Cody still in the game. Here's Richardson, hit at the line of scrimmage. Touchdown, Alabama. Tiffin's kickoff will be fielded by Ira Smith. Ira out over the 30. A flag is down, however. Smith still on his feet, dropped at the 30-yard line, but a flag way back inside the 20. This is the best starting field position North return. Texas has seen. Illegal block in the back. Number 26 on the receiving team. That penalty is half the distance from the spot of the foul. First down. It still blows your mind. Toon drops it off to Cam Montgomery. Montgomery out to the 20-yard line. That will be very close to a first down. I think he may have gotten it. It's second down and 10. It's a pass rush situation for Cody and company. A little quick hitter inside slant out to the 29-yard line it's to Darius Carey. Arenas back to return the Atterbury punt. Arenas will field it at the 20. Out over the 30 to the 33-yard line. Give him a 10-yard return on a 41-yard punt. Some sounds from around the SEC. First and 10 Alabama. Here's Mark Ingram to the 40, out to the 42-yard line. That'll be close to the first down. 10-yard pickup. And that was another way of kind of keeping yourself out of trouble as well. Here's McElroy trying to stay out of trouble. Makes a man miss. Falls down at the 48. And other than an early drop by Preston Dial, his guys have been able to catch the ball, and this guy's been able to run it. Mark Ingram inside the 35-yard line to the 34. Here's Richardson. He's in the game. And he's picking up about seven on the play. The Whalen Cook, the free safety, with his fifth tackle of the day. They've been perfect on third downs today. Four out of four. All day for McElroy. He hits Ingram to the 10. Touchdown, Alabama. Going after is no good by Lee Tiffin. He's a stand-up outside linebacker. When they want to pass rush, they, they put his hand on the ground, let him get off. Will Atterbury's punt. Fair catch called for by Arenas at the 46-yard line. Star Jackson in at quarterback. He will throw. Pass is caught by Darius Hanks. And off to Terry Grant, who's getting some work in at tailback. He's been around it for two years now. Jackson hits Mays at the 35-yard line. That'll be a couple yards shy of the first down. And we'll have some highlights from around the Atlantic Coast Conference as well. That's coming up from our SEC Network studios. Bob Stone, Matt Stinchcomb, Brad Smelly with the grab. First down Alabama. That'll stop the clock. Second down and seven coming up for the tie. Terry Grant inside the 20. Bad 
snap or a quick snap. And Star Jackson was calling out some signals, some protection, and didn't see it coming. There's always a caveat for a while. For a while. <laughs> right. yeah. It's close. Here's Jackson. Pass is caught inside the 20 by Brad Smelling, the sophomore to Tuscaloosa. Younger brother of former South Carolina quarterback Chris Smelling. From 35 yards out, Lee Tiffin is on the mark. And that will do it for the first half. All Crimson Tide. 30 to nothing. Well, that's about as good a first half as we've seen this short football season. They had a hiccup or two, but what a well-played first half by the Crimson Tide. Atterbury to punt it away. Nice spiraling kick that Arenas will take at the 25. Wall set up. Arenas makes a couple of guys miss. Still on his feet. Still on his feet inside the 40. Greg McElroy will start the second half for the Crimson Tide. Trying to build on his already impressive numbers, and he'll do so as Colin Peake, the tight end, the senior at Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, transferred in from Georgia Tech, makes his fifth grab of the season. It's not flat, I can tell you that. <laughs> Hand off to Ingram. He's driving his feet down to the five-yard line. They've helped each other out. Alabama's offensive line, not much to worry about. Touchdown, Alabama, Mark Ingram. How easy did that look? His second touchdown today. And uh, now you're going to punt the football to an explosive returner. Atterbury's punt. Will sail out of bounds. They will mark it at the 40 eight and a half yard line. My bet is no, and that that uh, that tells you, you better be ready when you're called upon here at Alabama. P.J. Fitzgerald punting away, wearing number seven today, and not his normal 97, punts it through the back of the end zone. A 49 yard kick, of course, the net on that will be 29 yards. Arenas comes up to the line, on the left side. A little slip screen. Jamal Jackson going backwards, and he's dropped back at the 12-yard line. Get the ball, get up, up the field, north and south. Atterbury to punt it away to Javier Arenas. He'll have plenty of room for the return. He's got some blockers. Knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. A 33-yard return by Javier Arenas. Jackson in at quarterback, hands it off to Terry Grant. Terry to the 25-yard line. Here's Jackson's handoff. Grant inside the 20. That'll be a first down at the 19-yard line. Let's go downstairs, check in with Kara Capuano. Kara, I'm glad Kara handled that story, not us. <laughs> we, we'd have messed that one up big time. Here's Grant. He's not messing this up. First down Alabama, it'll be first and goal as he takes it down to the seven yard line. And now they, they, they just can't, they can't get enough of Coach Saban. Here's Grant, driving his way down to the one yard line. See if Grant gets to cap it off here. And he does, touchdown, Terry Grant and Alabama. A lot of people talking about the chance for Houston to run a table now. Might happen. We've got a stretch of games, though, that are going to be a little, a little tough. Nathan Toon with a carry. Toon flushed out of the pocket. Lofts it up in the air. Nice throw and catch. Michael Outlaw inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. A quick hitter. Pass caught by Jamal Jackson. He's to the 35-yard line. And you're going to move the quarterback a little bit, not as stationary as when Nathan Toon's in the game. 
Pass is caught by Lance Dunbar. He will take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Mean Green. 35 yards on the pitch and catch. So Knott will kick it off. Arenas and Grant back to return the kick for Alabama. And it will be Javier Arenas. Javier. Making a couple of guys miss again. Javier Arenas to the 40. They'll hold on to the football, though. Star Jackson will hand it off here. Off the left side goes Trent Richardson. Inside the 30 down to the 27-yard line. And that in itself could make the difference in a football game in a lot of situations. Low snap. Barry Grant will fall on it. Second time we've had a little mishap. The, the sack and the fumble early to start the game. Here's Grant. All down at the 22-yard line by Craig Robertson. You got a redshirt freshman under center now. We'll get Greg McElroy back next year. Earl Alexander on that reception. Excuse me. <laughs> Out of the eye formation. Here's Terry Grant. To the 10. Still on his feet down to about the 7-yard line. I wanted to walk away from here going, boy, I don't want to play that powerful team. Here's Terry Grant. Tripped up at the five. Nice tackle in the secondary. Yes, because you want to lead him away from that defender and put a little air on him. Tiffin's field goal is up and good. Lee with a couple of field goals today. He is now eight out of ten on the year. Alabama's lead is 40. Knock on wood, my man. I hope I don't experience it. It just passes right on by my doorstep. Trent Richardson back to return this punt. And that will sail out of bounds, so no return. They will continue to mark it in favor of the Crimson Tide. They will stop it at the 40-yard line. Dr. Robert E. Witt sleeps every night here on campus. That is one of those four buildings that uh, did not get burned down during the Civil War. Here's Demetrius Good with a big hole on his first carry this afternoon. Just go back to what he did at Tulsa. Everybody thought, well, Tulsa's throwing it around. They're about as balanced as you could get in the country. Jackson's pass is caught inside the 20. Brandon Gibson, the sophomore to Mobile. Terry Grant inside the 15, down to the 13. Time to get another update means we got to go to our SEC Network studios. Rob. Oh, Terry Grant with 16 carries today. I think it's 17. He might be about a yard shy of the first down. The Wigway in on the tackle. Baron Huber is the fullback. Grant the tailback. The offset eye. It's Grant to the five. Touchdown, Alabama. Difference point after up and good. No good, excuse me. That's the second one he's missed today. Hamilton with the carry. He's out to the 30 yard line. As the Gators and the Volunteers get set to tangle. Here's Hamilton again, going back the other way. Got a few blockers, gets one from Nathan Toon. Here's Hamilton out to the 46-yard line. That should be good enough for a mean green first down. Mathis. As a player, you learn to play to the play to the end of the clock. Play the last whistle. Nico Johnson able to bring down Jeremy Mathis short of the first down. Thomas Dara gets to come in and take a knee. That quarterback. And he'll do it now. Wrap it up for the Crimson Tide, who held North Texas to under 190 yards of offense and 
The Crimson Tide put up over 500 of their own. Their third straight game with over 500 yards of offense. This team looks pretty complete. A couple of special teams miscues today. But uh, overall, Andre, your thoughts about the Tide? Well, a lot of young, young talent. A couple of mistakes early in the game, but they were a good football team. Usually overcomes that, and they were able to do so. I thought Greg McElroy is a good calm leader for uh, for this football team but a lot of talent for Nick Saban. Let's go check in with Kara. Well guys coach you challenged the team to make a faster start this week it seems like they answered that call what will be the focal point heading into this game against Arkansas? Well I think you know we want to carry some momentum into the game Arkansas has got a very very good team so you know SEC play everybody's got to ramp it up a notch but uh, I think we got a chance to play a lot of players today which will help our depth down the road and especially Star Jackson getting in as a quarterback uh, if we ever need him down the road. So I was pleased and happy with the way our guys performed overall today. I'm sure we'll see a lot more Greg McElroy next week. In your eyes, where can he continue to improve after a really great day? Well, he's done a good job for us, but you know the pass rush is going to be better. The coverage is going to be a little bit better. So everything you do has got to be a little more refined. And I'm sure Greg will continue to improve and do the things he needs to do to be a better player. You know this conference as well as everybody, so three very different opponents, games one through three. What will Arkansas bring to town? Well, you know, Arkansas has got a good team. Bobby's a great offensive coach, and they've improved defensively as the season went on last year, so, uh, you know, they got a good team. They've got good football players. Anybody in the SEC can beat anybody, so we're going to have to play one of our best games. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. All right, thank you.